can you see? Under the gaze of America's founding fathers, another group of immigrants become U.S. citizens. They're part of a surging group who've naturalized this year, just in time for the election. How big is the right to vote for you? It's really big. From 1 to 10, uh, 10. It's really big for me. Myra Chang came to the U.S. from Peru five years ago. She's one of more than 500,000 applicants approved for citizenship since last October. And like many others, her decision to naturalize was driven largely by the rhetoric of Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump, and in particular his comments about illegal immigrants from Mexico. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some I assume are good people. But it's just not right to say. And I feel really offended and really hurt about those words that have been said because it's not true. I'm also going to give you this. Naturalization applications are up 8% this year compared to 2012. At the Central American Resource Center in Washington, D.C., Rachel Gittinger says the election is the reason why. And a lot of our students have cited the rhetoric coming out of the elections and just out of the general um, discussions around immigration as a reason that they would like to pursue citizenship. But whether these newly naturalized citizens are able to register to vote in time remains to be seen. Congratulations. Leon Rodriguez of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services is hopeful. Although I'm an optimist, uh, and so I'm hoping that all of our new citizens are going to vote in this election and for elections for 50, 60 years to come, that they really will be able to use these new rights that they gain as citizens. Newly gained rights that come with their new lives in America. So, I mean, 